paying attention to our self-talk. Sometimes we can be our own worst critic. We have taken on board these voices, these words, these opinions of other people. Even if they're not true for us, we've internalised them, perhaps because those people have been uh, parents, caregivers, people who raised us, people who nurtured us, people who mentored us, people that we respected and we looked at them as being uh, older than us, more learned than us, knew more than us. And so we have taken in their words, their perspectives, their opinions over our own. But if they're not a good match, if their words, opinions, perspectives aren't a match for our true nature, who we really are, the thing that we need to connect with and be in harmony with, if they're not a match, there'll be a clash and that'll be causing us discomfort. So if we notice that this self, our self-talk is being critical, is being judgmental, is not comfortable for us to listen to, makes us feel uncomfortable and ill at ease, it's because it's not in alignment with our true nature. If it was in alignment, we wouldn't have a problem. We'd be agreeing with it. But because there's a mismatch and we're disagreeing, it feels very uncomfortable. But that shows us where there is a mismatch and where we don't need to hold those things anymore. They're not ours. And this is where journaling can really be a support here. It helps us to identify where there's a mismatch, what the opinions are that don't align with ours, and therefore what our values are and how we can then start to bring more of those into our lives, follow those, follow our intuition, listen to our bodies and to the things that work well for us. Because when we do that, we feel so much more comfortable in our own skin. We feel more at ease. Well-being flows. Because that's where we're putting our attention and that's what's supporting us. <laughs>